Welcome to Kim's Art Alchemy. We have another challenge. Yes, we do. So this time it was Happy Tiger who issued a challenge for us to create a tiger. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do um, with this piece. So I have a bunch of paints mixed up over on the side. This is a custom one that I made um, of a bunch of colors. All the colors that I used will be, all the paints that I used will be listed in the description below. But I am going to try and do a ring pour. Well, I'm gonna do a ring pour and I'm gonna stretch it out and hopefully get tiger stripes from it. That's my plan. My paints are reasonably thick. I just mixed them up so there's a ton of bubbles in them. Hopefully you can see what that's like. And I made them pretty thick because I don't want too much color blending. My gold is crazy bubbly. Isn't it weird? There's always one paint that just seems to go crazy. Okie dokie. I guess I'll start with the black. So I'm just gonna layer this cup. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna flash up some pictures of tigers. I'm going to pour down a puddle here. Practicing my ring pour, apparently. And let's just stretch that out a bit. Ring pour. Oh, that was a great dismount. Woohoo! Do, do, do. Man, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> I was thinking as I was pouring it out, the gold's gonna take over. I forgot about that. Details, details, details. We'll see what happens. All right, let's get all this out of the way. Open this up slowly. And I'm doing this to keep 
quite a bit of the paint on the surface if I can to give myself an opportunity to manipulate this. I'm gonna let that come off though. There's no reason for that nastiness to stay. A little bit more. Let's walk this back. I just need to think. My concept was not to necessarily keep those rings for this piece. So I have to just look at this for a minute. Here we go again. So, Now it's on to my tiger. So I traced a picture onto baking paper and then pressed it onto frisket paper. And then from there, I just cut the outline of the tiger out. We're back. Okay, so I have my background done and I cut out my tiger. And this is what I'm actually going to be using, but I'm going to use this to figure out what orientation I like best. So I don't have too much room on either side here to navigate, but I can move my tiger up and down. Oh, I think I like this better. Now it's just a matter of positioning. Do I like that better? I think I do. Let me just check again. Yeah, I do. I like this better. Advantage of that ear. There and there. Stripes coming down the arm, stripes coming down the back. This is where I want them. Okay. So I'm going to peel the backing off of this, hopefully. Yay! Get this out of the way. sure this lies down perfectly flat. Okay, you probably can't see it. I can barely see it. And 
now on to the next step. Okay, so I just have some golden regular gloss. I'm just gonna take my finger and go around my stencil. I think my stencil is. And this should hopefully just seal it even more. Okay, we're back. This is dried and it's definitely pasted down. Hopefully I can bring it up and I am going to just cover it up with this lusciousness. So this is that aged copper and I debated whether to brush it on or pour it on. <laughs> I think you can see what one Been a few days since I poured the bronze over this and you can see as it dried it wrinkled that frisket paper um, and you can probably now see exactly where my tiger is but I've got my knife here and hopefully this won't be too difficult a task lift off, but we'll find out together. Got all my tools here. And I'm trying to pull it so that it doesn't rip that way. Um, See, it did rip right there, but it didn't rip. And that's why I have my X-Acto knife. I'm not gonna leave it just like that.
that's probably as close as I'm gonna get it. And here's the finished piece. Yeah, I don't draw very well, so it's not the best face, that's for sure. But I think the concept is pretty cool. And I'm sure that other people with great drawing talents um, could do this much better. But I had fun trying it and hopefully it'll inspire somebody else to try something similar to this. Thank you so much as always for being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.